Hi guys, this is the second video about, um, about CC2650 um, STK, multi-standard sensor tech development kit from Texas Instrument. So this time I will try to connect to, to my uh, Galaxy uh, phone and see what we can get out of this uh, little nifty device. So as I mentioned before, uh, there is application uh, from Texas Instrument on either App Store or Google Play. Let's, I already installed it, uh, but it's totally, it's easily available. By the way, you have to make sure that your device, you try it, uh, it on, it supports um, uh, Bluetooth Low Energy because, uh, and you have latest uh, Android installed. Uh, I tried an older Android, it did not work properly, so Anyways, this is 442 uh, Android and uh, it's supposed to work here. I think, first of all, have to power the device. So application called BLE sensor tag. Uh, and also it's mentioned um, sensor tag as sensor tag application on this little piece of paper. So uh, as far as I understand, I have to power this thing. It started, started blinking green LED over here. And I guess I have to scan. All right, we have a... Uh, we found our device. Okay, I'm gonna tilt it like this. Uh, let's do connect. Here we are. So, what do we have? We have amb ambient temperature data, we have infrared temperature data, pretty cool. Humidity, which is <laughs> says zero. I don't believe it. it cannot be zero in my, in my house. Barometer, motion data is nothing. Luxometer definitely works. Yes, it responds. Can bring it closer to the light. You see increase the lux number. There is a little button here. You see it reacts to my presser. Um, yeah, I'm just curious why this thing thing don't work, especially humidity. I don't see anything about the digital microphone here, so I don't know <laughs> where it's supposed to be. Oh yeah, um, infrared sensor started reading probably temperature of my finger here, which says 33. Well, it definitely increased, but it's kind of ballpark values there hmm why motion data doesn't work well let me play with it a little bit more okay i'm back and i actually figured out what's happened uh, after spending some time figuring out what is the problem why uh, some sensors don't work I thought I broke something with this device where I was poking my fingers all over the place, you know, some static electricity and blah, blah, blah. Turned out to be uh, everything is so much more simpler. It's just this. So it's just simple battery. So apparently this is original battery and it kind of low, low, low. So yeah. when I replaced, uh, put new battery over here, everything works perfectly. So we can see some much more data and all sensors are properly working in this case. So now we have humidity data, which is uh, showing 43%. Barometer is working. And most interesting thing that um, motion data is working. So now we have like um, accelerometer information, gyroscope and magnetometer. And this is pretty cool. That's actually why I need it. I want to play with, uh, uh, with magnetometer, uh, magnetometer, accelerometer and gyro on this thing. All right, I'm just curious why the battery uh, died so quickly, unless they just, you know, Texas Instrument or whoever distributed these things put like, um, you know, kind of iffy batteries at first place. Um, or maybe because we're running so many diff uh, different sensors simultaneously, uh, the, you know, battery consumption is pretty high. Uh, that's, that's possible, that's possible. Uh, I, I did not play with this thing at all, like it just was sitting in the box with this little plastic top um, in, so I assume it was not consuming any anything because the plastic, the, the battery was essentially not connected. Um, 
So I'm not sure. I have to do some research and, and figure out what is the battery, what is the consumption, uh, standby consumption or actually uh, operational consumption of this little unit here. Uh, I would like to know also how much chip, um, what is the chip consum consumption itself and how much energy it take each of those sensors take because some of them are passive. Like I assume that, for example, um, uh, a barometer uh, could be passive. For, um, you know, uh, maybe digital microphone is passive, uh, and so on. Like. You know, anyways, so that's something to, to uh, investigate. By the way, some of the sensors can actually, I just clicked here, we can increase uh, or decrease per period and you can see like, you know, fairly quick update, uh, refresh rate of, uh, of the motion data. It looks pretty cool. Very, very nice. Anyways, I'm really impressed with this um, sensor tag. And uh, stay tuned for my other projects and, uh, and other videos. I'll be happily posting some of my experiments with this thing. So uh, thank you for watching.